Hey everybody, it's Michelle Visage and welcome back to another episode of Whatcha Packin'? Today we have the legend that is <laughs> Juju B! Hello! <laughs> legend, Juju. wow. Well, you are a legend. I mean, this is your third time back yep. on the RuPaul's Drag Race main stage. Third time's a charm. So... Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> um, look, let's go back to when you got the phone call uh -huh. and they were like we want you to come back for another all-stars because yeah. you did all-stars one right right getting the phone call was really exciting because I feel like I am just a new person and I'm at the point in my life where I think that I'm the best version of myself today yes so it was it was fun were you like okay this is gonna be different to the first one that you did oh my yes of course and what was the difference the di well it's harder you know with RuPaul's Drag Race being so so popular it, it gets harder and harder and harder and yeah I've done it twice before but this third time I know is going to be really like my last time doing it and it's the ultimate challenge like overall so I had to get my stuff together and bring it and you were on your own this time because All Stars One, you were partnered with Raven. Yes, and that and that made it a lot easier because Raven's fantastic. Yeah, and everything that she said, I was like, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Did you feel secure in a weird way, knowing that Raven was on set because Raven does Rue's makeup? Did yes, you feel? Yes, I felt I felt secure, but I never try to make any eye contact with Raven because I had I had to separate our friendship with of this course. with this professional idea. So I I wanted to like hug him so badly, but but we just couldn't. Like, no. I always just avoided eye yeah. contact, and I was like, gosh, there's my friend over there, and I can't even say hi. I was thinking about that as, you know, Raven would come up, and you'd be on stage, and she'd be touching up Rue, and it must have been, like, hard for both of you, because you mm -hmm. couldn't talk to each other. Right, but that's the business, right? How that, was it for you this time around? I'm so grateful that I got to do it again. I, I, I feel fantastic. I had such a great time. And the fact that I got to spend time in the workroom with you know, all these girls that are doing the exact same thing. We all understand each other. And Cracker and Shay, I've, I've gotten really close to them. Oh, did you? Yes, Good. and Blair, like yes. we, sh we shared lots of moments together. We shared tears. I think it was really beautiful for all of us to just get together and share our stories and be human. It's beautiful. That's the beauty of RuPaul's Drag Race. That's mm -hmm. actually what I love the most. I completely agree. You know, as, as a child, I didn't have anybody to look up to that looked like me. And I, I get messages all the time from queer kids who are like, you look just like me. And I'm so happy to have somebody like you to look up to. And I have you and RuPaul and World of Wonder and VH1 to thank for that. Like, that's an incredible thing. Let's talk a minute about the fact that you got to the final. Uh-huh. Again. Each one of your seasons. Yeah, that's kind of my talent, don't you think? I think you have more than that, but it's definitely <laughs> one for the resume. My talent's just getting there to the end. Yeah, but that, that says a lot about you. What do you think it is about you that gets you to the finish line every time? I, I, I think I have uh, incredible drive. I, I don't have a license to drive, oh. but I have incredible drive. You and don't I, drive? No, I'm Miss Daisy. Okay. That's the tea. Christine. <laughs> okay, so you think you have a gift of just being a gr you're a worker. You work hard. I'm a worker. Hustler. Bee. I'm Jujubee. Yes. Yeah. What was your favorite challenge this time around? Oh, gosh. Honestly. I know what my favorite Jujubee challenge okay. is. I think that I had the most fun with Blair and Cracker when we were at your uh, clinic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Michelle Massage free clinic. I honestly. That's was, my screensaver. Uh, yeah. It's going to be mine too. Yeah. I want to live there. Yeah. But it, it, it took me out of this place where I was like, I got to be this character. I, I got to have fun. We didn't have any lines. It was just all improv. Yes. And that was, that was the most fun that I had. My favorite Juju challenge was the hotel challenge. The banana eating? Yes. <laughs> just the whole thing because you were so funny and silly. And I think what I love about you and what I think our viewers will agree with is that you don't take life too seriously. And I know that's right. a big thing with Rue, but it's actually, I feel like you live that way. Yeah. You, are always down to have a laugh. You won the reading challenge. You tied with Blair uh -huh. for a second time. Didn't you win on your season as I well? I did, and I think that was the season two was the first reading challenge, right? Yeah, I think so. So big twist this year, the mm -hmm. lip sync assassin. Yeah. Thanks. When you found out about that, what did you think? Uh, you know, that's always scary because you already you think you are going to lip sync against one of the girls that's already there, so you can size them up. But the big surprise was you didn't know who you were lip sync against. And uh, I was very unlucky 
and I got to lip sync against Monet. Tough one. Yeah, I mean, it's already tough to lip sync against somebody like her. She's won this before, yep. and she's incredible. And then the, it was a Lizzo song that I never learned, huh. and I'm so disappointed Whose in myself. Whose fault is that, That's Juju? my fault. Okay. Great. Sorry, Lizzo. Right. <laughs> and yes, you got Monet exchange, and she wiped the floor with your ass. Yeah, she did. Good job, Monet. <laughs> Good job. That's all right. You still killed it. What was it like for you to do Untucked again? It's been missing, and I think the people really want it. Oh, the people love it. That's when you you sit down, and it's just the queens, and we all just talk, and uh -huh. you know, and I like to ask questions because I like to hear answers. You like to stir the pot. No, 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 no. It, the pot's already stirred. Uh -huh. I'm just asking questions. You like to poke the bear. <laughs> just ask. Okay. Ask on Gina. Okay. <laughs> she's easy to push, though. You just go like this, and she's. All I said was, "Do you need any help?" <laughs> <laughs> Should we talk about your fashions? Yeah. Why okay. don't you start? <laughs> well, I'll start with loving the skin you're in. Uh huh. This ball gown. Yeah. With the mermaid bottom. You know, looking at it like this. You really did not need that crinoline. I know, I know. So what was going through that jujube head? I think my whole idea with drag is too much is never enough. I mean. You know, I mean, you're a drag queen, you get it. Look at all the it. stars in my hair. Right, look at your nails, you what? whore. What, these? Thank but you. But like, I, I just needed something to be more of a character for that look. In hindsight, I think this is beautiful without it. Okay, I was like, this is very yeah. much Mae West, like I'm looking at it. Yeah, and I had the updo and like everything was monochromatic. Um, this dress used to be pink. How did you get it not pink? I threw this in my washer. And you what? I threw it in you my washer. You put that in your washing machine? With dye, and I colored it my skin color. I prayed for hours. Do you know how lucky you are? Very. I'm very blessed. Thank you, Hashtag Jesus. Hashtag yes. blessed. Blessed and highly favored. <laughs> um, it came out really great. It was Thank beautiful. Thank you. This was one of my favorite looks. Who made that? Uh, my friend named Pissy Pussy. Oh, yeah. that's my nickname. Yeah, that's Pissy yeah, Pussy. Yeah. <laughs> How did that come to be, though? Um, okay, well, I, I just wanted something really loud and not jujube. When you came out in that, I was like, oh, this is very not juju. <laughs> right, right. And I liked that you were taking a risk. I needed to. It paid off. Thank you. It hurt a lot because there was a corset. And I had him put the broken heart that's being pieced back together. Like, I needed a story with every one of my looks. That's and, sweet. And it's kind of like, you know, I'm, I'm Juju, so there's good Juju and bad Juju, and I feel like this is bad Juju turning into good Juju. I love that. Yeah. And what about her behind me? This is my prom dress. Right, which my, is... My Taylor Dane. <laughs> I told you when you were up there on the main stage, if I remember correctly, you know, it was really smart of you to do an 80s thing. That's all I think about. Same! Like, pr prom in the 80s, fashion in the 80s, I think, is still the best. Agreed. Everything was just so much. And I did all of it. <laughs> and you had like the big crimped It was this hair. huge crimped, yeah. Yeah. Like glamour shots. It, it was very, I'm going to go to the mall. Yes. And go to the department store. Yes. Well, I'm so glad that you did so well Thank this you. time around. You have been such a joy to watch, Thank to be you. with. Your energy is always amazing. Makes me feel so good. And I'm so excited for every single thing that you're about to do. And the Thank world gets you. to see more juju. Thank you. Good juju this good time. Good juju. Thank you, baby. <laughs> Thank you, mama. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys for watching another What You Pack, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Do you want everything RuPaul's Drag Race at your fingertips? Then head over to YouTube now and subscribe to the RuPaul's Drag Race channel, and you will get all the episodes of everything you ever want, including brand new episodes of What You Packin'. Hi.